Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RSCS exam series. Uh, we are at question number three and it's about creating users and groups. So <clears throat> if you already know uh, about users and groups, uh, you can go ahead and try to solve the problem. But if you have, if you don't know about this, I have always, as always, uh, there is a reference document uh, given in the description below at the end. So try to go through these documents and try to understand and read about user and uh, group creation. So let's start with the question. So just read the, always read the question very carefully. So it is asking us to create uh, three groups and with this, with this IDs, assign the IDs to these groups. And they're asking us to create one, two, three users uh, and assign them to primary and secondary group and then in the end set the password for them. So these, uh, these user which we will be creating and these users and group which we will be creating, make sure you keep them so that we will be in the following exercises, we will need them, uh, need these users to be present. So make sure when you create these users and groups, keep them until you complete the entire, uh, entire RSCSA practice exam series. All right, so uh, I have split the question into multiple tasks as uh, asked in the question. So let's go ahead and uh, read the question section one by one. So create repo, create group named EMPGRP, HRGRP with the respective ID. So let's copy that and they are asking us to perform this one on node 01 as RSCSA 9 user. So we will go to node 01 and we are RSCSA 9 user. It is part of RSCSA group and RSCSA group we already added for pseudo access. So RSCSA 9 has pseudo access. So let's go one by one to create the group. Okay, what we are doing out here, we are uh, using pseudo we are, uh, because this is a privileged uh, uh, command. So we are using group add minus g minus small g uh, to assign the group id for this group so we are creating emp grp group assigning this group this id that's it so let's go ahead and do that so remember i i explained you the flags sometimes it uh, the same flag means different when associated with the command so you have to check the flags as well as the command carefully all right, so we will create this one. We create HR group and we create finance group. So we assign the IDs to them as well. So how can you check that? So when you create group, it creates a file and EMPGRP. You can see it is created with a group ID, right? Same thing we'll do for HRGRP, sorry, HRGRP, it has group which we set it. And same for FinGRP, it also has 3003 as a group ID. All right, so this section is done. Now create a user Monica with user ID 4001, uh, which who belongs to EMPGRP as a secondary group and HRGRP as a primary group. So try to understand this Monica is working for the HR department who is also employee of the, of, of the company. So uh, she is part of the employee group uh, in general, which is a secondary group, but she's, she's primarily working in the HR. So we are assigning the HR group for, for her. So this is the command we will be using. So we are creating user Monica uh, and we are using user add minus u flag is for the user id so because in the question is it is asking you to assign the user id so to assign the user id for a user you use minus u flag right and this minus small g flag is for the primary group and the capital g flag is for the secondary group so in the question it is asking you to create user monica and assign secondary group as secondary group as EMP GRP and primary group as HRGRP. So we are assigning primary group as HRGRP, right? User created, how do you check the user? You 
grab this file and grab for money. Sorry. So Monica user is created. Her group ID user ID is this. Group ID is this. This is primary group ID, and this is her home, and this is her shell. So you can further check ID Monica. Monica. Uh, this is her user ID. This is her primary group, which is small GID 3002, and her secondary group is EMP GRP. And these are the groups, all the groups she is member of. So she's member of primary group and she's member of secondary group as well. So Monica user is created. Create a user Toby with the user ID 4002, and Toby is also employee, but he is working in finance department. So his primary group uh, is finance, FinGRP. So let's create user Toby, user add minus U, we assign the user ID minus G is a primary flag. So primarily Toby is working in finance department. So he's member of finance group, uh, primary member of finance group. And then he is a secondary member or in gen which is a general group. Uh, he's also the employee of the company. So we add, added user Toby. We can use same command to check user Toby. This is to show user Toby's detail. And if we ID Toby, we get the information Toby user ID. Toby is a member of finance group, primary group, and Toby is a member of these two groups. All in all. All right. So that's done. Then third section of the question is create a user web essay with user ID this uh, 4003 and who does not have access to interactive shell. So you have to read the question very carefully on the system who is not and he and that this user is not member of any of this group. All right. So this web essay it it looks like it's a service account. So maybe some web services you're running on this with using this user and you don't want anybody using this user to log into the server just for the security reasons so this is the command which we will use again sudo user add minus u this is a new flag we're using minus s for shell because in the question they're saying does who does not have the interactive shell so this is how you define shell if you don't define it, uh, the user get created with the default shell. So, which is bin bash in this case, but we are exclusively defining. This is how you define the shell. When you define this shell, uh, the user will not be able to log into this. The user will exist. It can own the processes. It can run multiple things, but not, uh, but will not be able to log in and get a proper shell. So, we created the user as well. So now it is asking to set the password for Monica, Toby, and WebSA as welcome hash. So let's set the password for Monica, welcome hash, welcome hash. Let's set the password for user Toby, welcome hash, welcome hash. Let's set the password for web essay. Welcome hash. Welcome hash. All right, so we have completed this exercise. I hope you understood what we what we did in this video. If you don't know about creating users and creating groups and assigning the IDs and associating user with the groups, uh, do visit these reference documents. I will be uh, putting them in the description uh, at the bottom. So do read about them. Just go through these questions multiple times. Practice it. Try to understand what we had, what we did here. And that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.